What's going on, you weeb enthusiasts? Hopefully, you have a phenomenal day. So, today we're going to go over my top three adventure anime. So, what really defines an adventure anime to me personally is actually like uh, having a lot of. <laughs> It, it can't just be under the topic adventure anime it has to have a few requirements in order for it to actually like be something to me personally so it needs to have action drama and everything else that would you would see in an adventure love romance and a little bit of everything a little panache panache you know what i mean so I do have a lot more than three, but today we're just going to go over three so I can kind of get into depth of like why do personally I do like them and also why I recommend you guys to watch them. So I guess without further ado, let's just hop straight into the video. At number three, I have to say I give it to No Game No Life. So this one is actually a classic. It's actually pretty old, but honestly, you can tell by the animations that I'm going to go and put up on the screen for you that the animations look pretty freaking good. So the reason why I mainly prefer No Game No Life is because it revolves around a brother and a sister in which they are game fanatics like they're heavy into games but then they're not just like heavy into them and like you know are moderately good no they're basically geniuses in video games so basically what happens is that these geniuses went and played uh chess against god i know it's crazy they played chess against god one and then they got transported into another world in which that they just are finding new experiences and new things every day let me go and give you three points in which i actually really love it so the animation is one the characters is two, and also, I don't have three, holy shit. So, I guess if I had to say what really drove me to watching this anime was because, like, I don't know, I love plots in which characters get transported to another realm, and then they basically are like kings or messiahs, and then they have to go and bring up their stature or their status so that people would actually acknowledge him. That sounds like a Naruto plot, but trust me, it's not Naruto. It's like, it's definitely, if I had to say, has its own little realm where like it's more about mind fucks mind games and it's a lot more like i guess uh fan service i guess if you guys really like don't really know about the anime check it out for yourself and then give me your honest opinion so definitely go and comment it down below and let me know your thoughts on the anime but me personally i had to give this to number three for this week so i guess let's just go straight on to number two the anime is called basically rise of the shield hero and what i love about this anime is that it's like it's so uh, it's so original it's so different it's something that you've never seen before i promise you this it kind of had the you know the same spins of every other anime the main character walks into a store something happens and then they get transported somewhere completely different where honestly that's really cool but what really set this anime aside for me and had and made me say yo this thing is actually lit you know usually all uh, the main characters whenever they get transported they get treated so well they get treated like royalty everything is great everyone is chilling everyone is overpowered as fuck but then basically the main protagonist i forgot his name but like the main protagonist basically has the worst upon worst power which is the shield and honestly usually you would want to have like a power like a sword a spear anything else a freaking gun but then he just gets a shield and then me personally it kind of when i saw that i was like okay that's kind of lame but then i'm pretty sure with this certain like production company that they were going to actually put something completely different that really puts me on in the sense of like me enjoying the show which honestly what they did so well on the first episode so let me explain it so basically what happened was that no one wanted to be a part of the shield hero's team or his nakama and honestly i felt bad for the boy and i was like oh he's gonna go all vigilante stuff like that but then what kind of like got me for a spook was when this hot ass chick basically comes up to him and said you know what shoot some uh, i want to be a part of your team and i was like oh okay my boy got hoes i'm like hey it's lit but then so basically they went they start traveling together he started doing stuff getting his status up by fighting finding these small ass balloons and stuff personally like when i saw how she was being so nice i was like she's being a little too nice it's like just like in real life whenever you see someone who's a little too nice to you you kind of start speculating that something might be a little off about them after what happened was that they basically went to a guild or something to go to sleep and then <laughs> buddy wakes up to a whole bunch of guards just coming straight to his door and like saying that oh you raped this chick blah 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 and i was like nani when that was going on i was like okay well this anime took a dramatic turn for like the better because like i just thought it was gonna go with some cliche things where he clears up his name and all this stuff but no 
Buddy basically gets secluded from the whole like um, town and stuff. Everyone thinks that this guy is a piece of trash, and then he just goes on his own journey. Now that to me is what I call a true adventure anime. It kind of starts off where it's like super vibrant and like amazing, but then in every journey, not everything is super vibrant. Like it has a little bit of travesty and darkness. So what Shield Hero really did well to me was that it showcased like um, the vibrance of like adventures, but also the dark side. I guess if I had to say anything overall, Shield Hero definitely has a place in my heart because it's like with the way that they transition everything on the first episode, I haven't even gotten into the other episodes. From the first episode, I'm telling you right now that you, if you haven't seen the anime, you really want to go and get your hands on it because I'm telling you, they have it in sub, they have it in dub, they have the manga, so you have no, you have nothing to complain about. You literally have everything. And honestly, the season already ended, which honestly made me sad, but I heard that they're going to have a, a second season. So y'all go and have to, <laughs> hey, y'all got to get ready for that because I'm telling you, it's going to be a banger. So I have a question though. So if Rob Talia was like six, seven, like when he found her and then got her like all boosted up and stuff and now she looks like an adult, is she considered an adult? Uh, I don't know. Hey, let me know because honestly, I'm not trying to go to jail, but hey, let me stop. Okay, let's go to the final selection. <laughs> All right, and the final one, my dudes, we're going to be talking about Made in Abyss. It's a pretty... I'm telling you, this anime ha is on some other other sugar honey iced tea. See, the anime in general has a really great feel. Like, I don't know how to even explain it. Like, it just makes you feel... Like, you just kind of get seeped into the world of, of, like, whatever is happening. I don't know. So, basically, these um, rock climber people are... They basically go down into the abyss, which, like, you know... I don't know if you guys know the definition of abyss, but it's basically a big ass hole. And what's that? <laughs> I don't know. It's a big hole. And they go deep into the abyss to go and find, I guess, resources and stuff. They, this little girl, I don't really remember her name. I'm sorry. This little girl finds this robot dude or whatever like that, or this alien guy. And then they, they become best of friends. And then they just go and try to find their mom together deeper in the abyss. So it might sound really vibrant and fun. And then like <laughs> this, I guess lighthearted but honestly this anime gets really really dark as you kind of progress throughout the, the episodes the reason why i love adventure animes that have a little bit more dr drama to them like on top of like having good moments is because it makes it more interesting it's like i don't like anime that are just like always happy all the time i can watch those by the way but i just like animes that kind of give you like a sense of like real realism like you know in every adventure there, there's always problem made in abyss if you guys haven't checked it out basically the main reason why i would actually recommend it to you guys is because first it's super, the animations are sexy second i guess it takes a different spin on like you know main plot wise for anime and third because i don't know like it's just like why not i would really recommend it to anyone who wants something completely different in which that they you know haven't seen before and just want something kind of diverted away from like you know original dumb plots from like mainstream anime because honestly mainstreamers can go kill themselves i'm, I'm joking okay no, I <laughs> why do i always say shit like that so if you haven't seen it definitely go and check it out okay so i guess this is my three animes for the week so do me a favor by commenting something down below or commenting your favorite adventure anime so i can go and check it out see if i watch it and also communicate better with you guys because honestly i feel so i want to build a community in which that we can just kind of talk dissect and just have fun with everything anime so i guess this just ends the video i don't know like i don't know how to end these bit these bitches